Onam the Kano's trial is the end of IPOP presidency reviews plan. You are welcome to today's news. Please listen to the end. The presidency has revealed that the ongoing trial of the leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Masi Onam the Kano, will spell the end of the group. Gabashew, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, disclosed this in a statement on Sunday, noting that indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, in no distant time, will be declared a terrorist group, a move which will ensure that the group's ability to gain or transact in the foreign currencies is abolished. The arrest of Onam Dikanu, leader of the proscribed group, IPOB, is the beginning of its end. The Muhammad Buhari led administration is making frantic efforts to designate IPOB as a terrorist group through the help of our allies outside the country. This will automatically plummet their ability to transact proceeds from crime and extortion in foreign countries. It is sacrosanct to let the economists and the global media know that the activities of IPOB do not reflect their public sympathy. It should be recalled that all the elected governors, politicians and state assemblies in the Southeast whom the group claimed to be loyal to them, have rejected them outright, Sherwood disclosed. The presidency was saying that Unamdi Kanu's trial is the end of IPOB. The arrest of Unamdi Kanu is the, be- is the beginning of its end. That since Unamdi Kanu has been arrested, then the indigenous people of Biafra is coming to an end. They're going to make sure that the group's ability to gain or transact in foreign currencies is abolished. They will not be able to transact. They will not be able to proceed from crime and extortion in foreign countries. They will not be able to do anything in the foreign currencies. Let us make frantic efforts to designate IPOB as a terrorist group. Recall that our president, President Momotu Burari, has tagged the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, as a terrorist group. That they are creating terrorism and part of the charges that Unam Dikanu was charged is also terrorism. So, Hypop has been tagged as a terrorist group because of everything that is happening in the southeast part. This will automatically plummet their ability to transact proceeds from crime and extortion in foreign countries. They should note and recall that all the elected governors, the politicians, the state assemblies in the southeast whom the group claimed to be loyal to, to them, have rejected them outright. So none of them is behind the hypop group any longer. The hypop is on their own. None of them is behind them. None of them is sympathizing with them. Hypop do not reflect their public sympathy. Hypop should know that the presidency, the high courts, and all of them, they are working hand in hand together. Since they've arrested Unam Dikano, since late June, that has become the beginning of its end. Meaning that the Biafra will soon come to an end, the agitations will soon come to an end very soon. It is a slow, slow, movements. The presidency has disclosed that the trial of Unam Dikano would lead to the end 
of the Pro Biafran group. The Southeast governors and lawmakers do not support Kanu and IPOB again. In a statement he posted on his Facebook page, Shea will also disclose that the federal government was making efforts, further effort to get IPOP rightfully designated as a terrorist organization. The president's administration is redoubling efforts to have IPOP rightfully designated as a terrorist group by our highlights outside of Nigeria. Kano and IPOP have been at the forefront agitating for the breakup of Nigeria. It is important to remind the economists, economists and the global media that this group's aggression and widespread presence on social media does not reflect their public support. None of the elected governors, the elected politicians, elected state assemblies in the Southeast which IPOP claim to be part of their fantasy kingdom, reject them completely. Unabdi Kano, who was however arrested in July 2021 in Kenya and was reparated to Nigeria to continue his trial. Last week, the Nigeria government rearrayed him before Justice Binta Unyako of an Abuja Federal High Court. Unamdi Kano and the IPOB are now on their own because all the elected politicians that were behind them, the elected governors that were behind them, are no longer behind them again. They've left IPOB to their own because what IPOB is doing is bad. The presidency, who has even tagged IPOP as a terrorist group, will now do it rightfully. We rightfully designate them as a terrorist group by the allies outside Nigeria. Unabdikano and IPOP do not enjoy the support of all these governors, all these lawmakers any longer. We call that Unam Dikanu, who was in court October 21, 2021, for his trial before Binta Unyanko, in which his trial was later adjourned to November 10. Unam Dikanu should know what to do. Unam Dikanu should know that since they've arrested him, that's has become the end of Biafra. Please remember to drop your comments below and don't forget to also share this article with your friends. Thank you and God bless you.